We have Endgame Julius Irving packs. I've got 1.5 million MT and I've got this team. I need to make some upgrades though because most importantly, I need this Endgame Sean Bradley that they released. This card just looks insane as he's seven foot six and yes, a center. So I'm not even gonna spend any VC. I'm gonna spend at least 500,000 MT. We're gonna bring that MT total down to 1 million and we're gonna be spending it all on singles. So let's just start it right now. Let's start it right now and see if these packs are actually gonna be good for us because first pack up always tells us how the pack opening is going to go as Troy Dan says nothing but you know what as we're on to the second pack I need you guys to smash that like button down below it's going to help out the luck in this video trust me like you haven't done it yet that's why but once you do go down and smash that like button we're going to get a dark matter watch this just because you guys did it dark matter no maybe we haven't done it yet I don't know oh yeah I think it's this time I think it's actually this time pack number four you know dark matter time 100% Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. I'm also wearing like my lucky hoodie. I have pulled so many good cards wearing this hoodie, but hey, it's taken a long time. But we do get a Galaxy Opal there being LeBron James and also our first Dark Matter. Can this Dark Matter be a good player is the real question. We want to see someone super tall. That looks like Jonathan Bender, is it? Yeah, this is Jonathan Bender and this is a really good card. It's just unfortunate that he really doesn't go for much at all, but a great card to pull. I'm not complaining, it's hollow as well. And that's Dark Matter number one. Like man, if we only get one Dark Matter every four packs, it's kind of the odds, but it's still not really what we want to see. We want to see better. Because these packs again, still have a 28% chance at a Dark Matter. So I'm just hoping we're able to see something good. It's actually crazy the fact that the 28% odds haven't changed for so long. But just like that, we see our second Dark Matter as well as, well as our Julius serving that's the one card we want to see as an end game player we get blue ball hey you know what that means blue balls but next pack up it's lebron and uh i don't i'm not even going to get excited i'm seriously not even going to get excited because this is either the playoffs or the all-star version because it's from the lakers what one the all-star but hey it is good to see another dark matter so next one up back to back can we finally do it absolutely not ruby and emerald i could not tell you how badly i actually want to see that sean bradley he just looks like such a good card so that's what we're opening these packs for i don't really care for anyone else but yeah obviously usually i do spend money on this game like you guys will be surprised the fact that i'm probably just doing mt as just like that we get a dark matter in the same spot but it's so close to the end of the year that there's just not really much point on me actually spending money this is Shaquille O'Neal but guess what you need to see Western Conference and we need to see Lakers it's the exact opposite of what we needed to see for LeBron we got the Eastern Conference at Shaq, but the Magic version. That's two of our three Dark Matters so far. Is that right? I think it's two out of three that have been troll Dark Matters. But just like that, we do get another Dark Matter pull back to back, finally. And this one looks like... Who is this? Eastern Conference. Is this Tim Thomas? I'm pretty sure this is Tim Thomas and this is an Invincible card. So this is actually a really good pull and just like that, bam, we pulled Invincible Tim. Yeah, this is by far our best pull so far and he goes for like 50k. So I'm actually really happy with this. Thanks, Timothy. First 100,000 MT down. Can we see three Dark Matters in a row? Absolutely, yes. And this one, hey, we started good. We started with Shaq, then we went Tim Thomas. So maybe this one's gonna be the end game. We went a normal Dark Matter, then an Invincible. Is this one an end game card? It's Penny Hardaway. There is an Invincible version, so maybe we can go two Invincibles in a row. I don't know, but it's probably going to be the Heroic. I don't think I've ever pulled his Invincible. What is it? It's the Heroic. Yeah, definitely not what we want. But yeah, I do still think that there is a chance I'm going to still spend money on this game. Oh, whoa, that's four, that's four in a row. Yeah, that's four in a row. And that's the most I've ever pulled is four in a row. So if we get another Dark Matter, it'll make it five. But we want to see who this is. Who is it? It's, uh, it's Poku. It's Poku, but... It's still a good card. It's just a season eight one that doesn't go for too much. But as I was saying, I do actually think there's a chance I'm going to spend more money on this game. Don't worry. Just because they do usually release those packs that are like super packs, but the MT singles as we don't go five in a row, a bit annoying. Yeah, they usually release super packs that then you have to buy with VC only. And then it's a guaranteed end game or invincible. You know, those ones that they do. And then the MT packs are a chance at ending up getting an invincible or an end game out of them. So I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do that this year. I guess they will. And I actually think that they're just going to have guaranteed invincible packs.
packs and then guaranteed end game packs for VC, but we'll have to just wait and see. So I've told myself that that's going to be the last time and probably the only time in the next few weeks that I end up spending money on this game, depending on what comes out Friday. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but hey, it's crazy the fact that we're this far into the year and I'm actually not spending any money on the game. That's when you know that we're most definitely towards the end of 2K23, which is actually sad to say goodbye, but I'm so excited for 2K24 as just like that, we do get a dark matter. Please actually be a good one. It looks like a Lakers player. It looks like Kobe Bryant, but I'll tell you something. This is bald Kobe. And that means that yes, it unfortunately is not his end game version. You have to see the Froby version for it to be his end game. Surely after all those packs, all those packs of getting nothing and we get one dark matter. Now we're going to go back to back. The answer is no. We do get a good pack though with a galaxy opal and a pink diamond. And that sort of pack actually quick sells for a lot too. So we can't really complain with it. But next one up, dark matter. Let's go in the corner, just like that. I want to see one in the middle. That's really what I'm looking for. Another Lakers player. But this one is James Worthy and it's annoying because you can instantly tell it's James Worthy and this man doesn't have a different version in the game. So really, you know it's the prime version and you know you can't get excited. Well, so we've pulled one good Dark Matter so far. Every single other Dark Matter goes for under 10,000 MT. As just like that, we do go back to back. Ja Moran as well. Ja, make this pack great. Please, let's see. This is Giannis. Be small forward. Small, wait, point guard. No, it's Ben Simmons. Bro, why did I think that was Giannis? And unfortunately, Ben Simmons does have an end game. Game, but his end game is from the 76ers. This is just the Titans. So annoying, so annoying. I can't deny it, but let's go into the next pack. Back to back to back. Absolutely not. Christmas again. If you guys open up these packs though, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what is your best pull out of them. Just because you can see right here, mine's obviously Tim so far, and that's in over 200,000 VC. So, so far, I would say it's not going great, but you never know. You can just pull an end game and make it so much better. And the best end games like Yao Ming, Sean Bradley, Taco Fall, Bol Bol, Chris Stapps, all those sorts of players actually go for a lot of MT. So they're the players we're looking for. They're the ones that we really want. And let's see if this one can be created. What? But I hate that. It feels so weird doing MT singles. Like I just don't do it very often at all. I don't know what's going on. It's so weird. Is this right now just showing that the boxes are better? I don't know. Because right now we are not seeing much out of them. But Dark Matter pull, let's go. I feel like I haven't really pulled one to the right side. So let's make it right and let's make it a great player. It's not, it's not, it's absolutely not. It is the small forward version of LeBron from the Lakers. And again, as I said, we don't want to see the Lakers because it's either the playoff or the All-Star. It's the All-Star. All I have to say is I'm sorry because after this pack, I'm going to sing until we get a Dark Matter. It could take a long time. Oh yeah, I'm going to sing until we get a Dark Matter. That is not one right there. Instead, we get Rui Hachimura. But yes, we have another pack that we open up and get a Galaxy Opal. It is definitely not great though. And this is taking a long time so please please hit me with the dark matter you guys are welcome you guys are welcome i feel like that would have been bad if we kept on going on with that but do the singing packs hit us with some good luck this is clay top point guard wait who is this again number 34 is sean livingston i keep on forgetting it looks like clay all the time but it actually ends up being Sean. It's another season eight player. I'm sorry for the singing, by the way. Want to know what though? If 2K actually hit me with a dark matter quickly, it would mean that we wouldn't have to do as much singing. So yeah, it was tough for you guys. And uh, maybe we'll have to do something different next. Maybe we'll have to do some rapping, rapping. Okay, well, we do get a dark matter. So after this dark matter, I'm going to rap until we don't get a dark matter. So this one looks like Kevin Garnett. It could, no. No, I already realized. I already realized. I thought it could have been his end game, but his end game plays for the Minnesota Timberwolves. This is the out of position. It's wrapping time. Yo, uh-huh, uh-huh. We got another pack. We don't get another dark matter. Let's see the green and put it in the bladder. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but I want to see the dark. I want to see it dub good and I want to see it fast. Please hit me with it. I say it really nice. That is not good. I say it all the time. I mean, it's quite bad getting Alex Caruso, but we get a dark matter. So that is pretty good though. Let's open it up and see who it is. Please be good. Please be an end game. It is Antoine. Okay. Well, they do not want to see me rap because they literally gave me my most hated 
player to pull. Number one, this is number one, my most hated, Anton Jamison. He sucks. If we get him, we just quick sell. We only have about 150,000 MT left and you guys have seen the worst from me. We've seen singing and then you've also seen rapping. So really not great at all, hey? Really not good. The annoying part is, is I literally could have bought Sean Bradley with how much MT I've spent on these packs. But if we're able to pull him, then it just makes it so much more exciting. So surely, surely we have to see one of these plays. This is Dr. J. This is Julius Irving and this is his end game version 100% because he doesn't suddenly have another Dark Matter. So just like that, three, Three, two, one, bam, we pulled Endgame Julius Serving. Let's go, baby. That makes it so much better. And we needed that bad, bad. I'm so happy we actually got an Endgame and especially one that came out today. Oh, thankfully, thankfully. I'm actually excited to see how this card plays because Dr. J is always a beast and it's always fun seeing that throw on the court. Thank you, Dr. J. All right, let's go. Let's go. We actually pulled the player on the front of the packs. And I did not think this was going well at all. So I'm so happy the fact it just turned around and we instantly got that Julius Irving. That right there is one of the very few Dark Matters that you know if you actually see that card walk out, it is guaranteed to be its endgame version. There's no other version, which truly does make it such a W. The only other card I can really think of is obviously Sean Bradley because he doesn't have another Dark Matter and then Taco Fall. Are there any others? I don't know. I guess if you see Manute Bowl, that's still a good one. Even though it's not an endgame, it is an invincible and a very good one in that. So that's another the good one but man you know what i'm looking for i'm looking for some of those cards i know i just pulled an end game but i want to see more i want to see just one more please 2k it seriously does make you feel so much better when you spend about 500 000 mt on these packs and then you actually get an end game out of it i thought i was going to be really sad but i can say that i'm actually happy after that this next one up is going to be another what is it i keep on forgetting who this player is is this lonzo ball yep another wait he has an end game no, his end game's on the ball, he's on the bulls. I just remembered. Okay, that's sad. He has an end game in these packs, but as I said, on the bulls. I didn't even actually talk about the other end games, but there's an end game Lamelo ball, end game Alonzo ball, and uh, who are the others? Oh yeah, end game James Harden. So some pretty good cards, and I would love to see one more of those guys. Just thought I'd let you know. So maybe in this pack, now that we've thought about it, now that we've told 2K, they might hit us with one of those players. And who is this? Eastern Conference point guard. Who is this? Number one, I've got no idea who, it's Derek Rose. It's Derek Rose, it could be his Invincible, is it? No, that card sucks. But hey, that does allow us to do two more packs and see if we can get another Dark Matter. Okay, well, only one now. Just one more good pull, like one in, oh wow, okay, that's not good at all. I'm not ending on that though. I know I shouldn't do another pack, but I need to. I absolutely need to, because just like that, I had a feeling. I had a sense that we were getting a Dark Matter and I have a sense it's a good one too. Is it a good one? Um, is this Tim Thomas? I'm pretty sure this is Tim Thomas, but it unfortunately is just his normal version, not his invincible. So Tim, I mean, it's not terrible. Every time I pull that card, for some reason, my next dark battle that I pull is, end, no, not end game, just interdimensional, Luka Doncic. So we'll just have to see if that happens again. We'll have to see it next dark matter if it's Luka. Just, that's a galaxy opal. All right, well, weird. I, I'm just gonna flip this and skip it. Or is it someone good? It looks big. Oh, it's Joel and B. Yeah, sure. So weird seeing galaxy opal shakes in what, July? That's the month we're in. We need to see one more dark matter. Wait, no, I just realized it's no longer July. It's actually August. So, so weird seeing galaxy Galaxy Ovals in August. We want to see Dark Matters. That's it. And uh, we're seriously coming to the end. We are seriously coming to the end of this pack opening, which is a bit sad. I need to see one more Dark Matter. This pack will bring us under a mil. Actually, no, it won't. What was that? Maths. 15,000 minus 10,000. Wait, 10,000 minus... What am I saying? I don't even know. But this next pack's will because I'm getting a Dark Matter. Like, we have been on a huge dry spell. So this is under a mil. And just like that, we see our Dark Matter. We also get a... No, I just realized that right there is a promo card so this one has to be an all-time version of a player don't get trolled angus who's it going to be though michael jordan can already tell you it is going to be the all-time version i guarantee it on everything just because you can't actually get two promo cards i don't think so michael jordan all time told you that doesn't count i actually want an exciting dark matter to pull so can we go back to back with dark matters absolutely not how long is it going to take like how long is the real question please just hit me with one more please i don't want to spend too much more mt and just like that the matters do work we get a joel and b the level 40 reward and can we see a good dark matter it's penny 
it is Penny Hardaway. As I said, the only way this can be a good pull is if it is the Invincible version. So Invincible Penny or Heroic. Invincible? Nope. Getting that pull though allows us to do two more packs. Two more and one? Not good. Christmas colors, not great. It is good to see Joe though. Now for potentially the final pack. The final... Whoa, 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 whoa. It is not the final pack because we pull another Dark Matter. The pink ball as well. One of my favorites. And this is Darius Garland. Do we care for Darius Garland? Absolutely not. A short point guard in August is not the meta. I mean, it's a fun card, I guess, but yeah, not what I'm looking for. I can tell you that. Especially when I'm trying to look out for seven foot six Sean Bradley. I'm definitely not looking for Sean and for Darius Garland to be on the team. Now, the question is, is this going to be our final pack that we open off these ones? So let's see. And no, it is not. All right. They keep on hitting me with the dark matter every single time. This one looks like a tall player straight up. No, it's Stefan Marbury. Why do we get these really annoying cards? Like, I, I don't want Garland. I don't want Stefan Marbury. I don't want these season eight players. The only one I want is George Murison. That's it. I'm literally just quick selling every single one of these players that we get. But two more packs. You guys know the rule. Next one up. All right, this could be our last. I've just got that feeling. I've got that feeling that this is going to be our last, unfortunately. So last pack. Absolutely not. Dark Matter in the middle. And that is my favorite Dark Matter to see. When it gets you excited, straight up in the middle. And just like that. It is another. And no, no, this one's Clay Thompson. This one's Clay Thompson. And this could be his endgame ver No, his invincible version. Please be invincible. Invincible Clay, let's go. Okay, that's a really good pull because this card is actually a beast. Okay, thank you, Clay. It kind of means that these MT singles that we've done after we've hit a million MT have actually been kind of good. It, it makes it. But I'm pretty sure this pack right here is going to be our final one. I've got that sense once again. And my sense this time was correct. Mm, would I say this is a good pack opening? I don't know. I spent about 600,000 MT. I did pull Invincible Clay Thompson, which is a W. I also pulled Invincible Tim Thomas, another W. Tim goes for, yeah, about 50K. Clay for about 30K. But most importantly, we pulled Endgame Julia Serving. He goes for, yeah, actually quite a bit of MT. And I'm just really happy we were able to get one Endgame pull at least. So yeah, let me know what the best thing you guys pulled was as thank you once again for the support. This was a lot of MT and only one Endgame to come out of it but still you can't really get mad about that so yeah that's pretty much it for the video be sure to smash that like button subscribe for you follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and that's pretty much it i'll catch you guys in my next video bye